look at a stream, we almost always we want to ask the first question of, is this a good quality stream or not? So how do we define a good quality stream? To determine the quality of a stream, it is important to consider the physical, chemical, and biological elements. Ultimately, a good quality stream is one that provides optimal habitat for a healthy biological community. Now a stream's water quality, the chemistry on it, uh, will always uh, reflect what's in the watershed. And when we talk about a watershed, we're talking about that area of land where re precipitation that falls on that land, where it goes uh, to a single point on the stream. Uh, and so that uh, watershed, if it uh, is as little as 10% of it is, has been developed in any way, whether it be a farm or whether it's uh, uh, roads and a few houses, uh, as little as 10% we start seeing a degradation of water quality. Uh, and so what, uh, the, where this water is coming from is that so as water hits the ground, it, it soaks into the ground hits the groundwater and it's moving along in the groundwater and it will seep out into this stream. So you're really looking at the top of the groundwater here. Now we also, typical here in Kentucky is that we have, we're underlain by, in most of our state, by limestone. That's what we, that's what I'm standing on here on this stream. And when we have a stream where the water is running along the top of this bedrock, then the water itself might be very clear. Remember that when we talk about the quality of a stream, we're talking about can it support aquatic life. And aquatic life uh, is very minimal here where it's flowing over sheetrock. Optimal features in a stream bed would include a diversity of rock sizes like boulders, cobble, and gravel. These rocks, along with submerged vegetation and fallen tree limbs, provide a variety of places for aquatic insects to hide, feed, reproduce, and find shelter. These physical features contribute to the overall health of the stream by supporting aquatic life. So this is an example of a, of a, a typical stream where even though the water quality is, looks clear, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's a high quality stream. Okay, so some of the things we look for in a stream, the first thing we look at is what's the size of the riparian area and what kind of, of vegetation are we talking about? Things that we're looking for is these trees also provide shade uh, on the stream. So as you look behind me, you can see that uh, it's partly uh, sunny, part, but mostly shaded. And what that shade does in the summer months is it keeps the water cooler. If the water is cooler, it can hold more dissolved oxygen. And dissolved oxygen is uh, absolutely critical for any aquatic life uh, that might live in this stream. And that's what we're looking for is uh, things that will improve aquatic life. You also see there's a lot of leaves uh, in this stream uh, these leaves, uh, for some people it looks like it's uh, clutter, but in actuality this is food for aquatic life. And so there's a lot of uh, macroinvertebrates. Macroinvertebrates are, are uh, uh, visible uh, specimens. They're usually insect uh, larvae uh, that live in part of their lives in the uh, streams. Uh, and this all these leaves then become uh, food for them. So these trees are providing cooling and food. And if you look over here to the uh, right, you'll see uh, a number of, of uh, roots. And this is also then providing some stability for this uh, stream. Where we don't have that, you can see there's some areas where it has eroded away and puts uh, sediment into the uh, stream. The, if we have too much sediment, it will literally smother out the uh, uh, macroinvertebrates and then the, no macroinvertebrates to eat, we have less aquatic life. Additional physical features to look for in a good quality stream are the presence of riffles and a variety of water flow regimes. Riffles are shallow areas of a stream 
where water flows across rocks rapidly. As the water flows over these rocks, oxygen is added to the stream, making the stream healthier for aquatic organisms. We also look for, does it, uh, does it have a lot of of uh, places for macroinvertebrates to hide? Does it have uh, different size uh, rocks? Does it have uh, uh, branches and, and logs setting in it? All of those become uh, great habitat for macroinvertebrates, but uh, uh, some people would think uh, we need to clear out a stream that it looks kind of cluttered. But it's that clutter is what uh, nature's way of uh, providing habitat for uh, different species that live in the uh, stream. And so that's uh, also what uh, we uh, look for as we try to find uh, high quality streams. Minimizing human disturbance and maintaining a robust riparian area go a long way in protecting Kentucky streams. Vegetation on both sides of the stream provides food to aquatic insects, armors stream banks, and keeps the water cool. That vegetation, along with diverse stream bed materials, helps support aquatic insects and thus supports a good quality stream. To learn more about managing riparian buffers to protect water quality, contact your local Cooperative Extension Service office.